I was not paying for it. So in my head, I had it sorted out, particularly to vendors because I can do everything myself. And even with that, like there was so much pressure. My parents were calling, we should hurry up and come. Oh God, there was so much pressure. Marion Lago Alate, you are all that I need in a partner, a friend, a travel buddy, a lifetime companion. My love is not perfect, but this will not stop me from trying to be such in your eyes. If I fall along the way, remind me, reproach me, love me until I return to my senses, because you and only you can lead me back. I promise to do my best to always put a smile on your face, today and forever. Maria Naku Adelivo, I love you. Naku, I put you on this beautiful stool. The stool of our symbol. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. back to my channel if you are new here if this is your first time seeing this pretty face my name is Naku Alute a Ghanaian youtuber and I got married to an amazing gentleman two years ago in a beautiful Ghanaian traditional wedding which I actually documented and it's on my channel and I also have a whole playlist on planning your Ghanaian traditional wedding and so if you have not seen my wedding video or any of my wedding planning videos I'll link the playlist up here you can just click on it and go enjoy this weekend is actually our anniversary weekend and so I've just been going through our pictures and videos from you know our traditional marriage day and also been reflecting on how things went on our big day though it was a beautiful wedding like it was a beautiful ceremony there are a number of things that i think could have you know gone way better so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you some of my wedding regrets so some of the things that actually you know stressed me gave me anxiety through the preparation process and even on the big day itself so stick and stay till the end of this video and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you are not yet subscribed to the channel so one of the things that i regret the most was not having enough time for our exclusive pictures because of delays if you know me very well you would know i love pictures so just imagine me not having enough time to take exclusive pictures of myself and my husband on our big day like it was something else and the pressure oh god i don't even know how to describe it so this was what happened so because there was like delays from the beginning right so in my mind oh we had enough time to do our makeup get ready and all of that but the time was not enough trust me i thought that we started doing like our makeup getting ready preparations and everything way on time but it was just not it so um 
delays from like preparation as in getting ready makeup hair everything and for my bridesmaids as well and because of that the ceremony itself didn't start at the time it was supposed to start which caused like a what's it called ripple effect so because the ceremony itself didn't start at the time it was supposed to start we didn't finish the ceremony at the time we were supposed to finish and so it ate into the time we we're supposed to have for our exclusive pictures and so we had people um already seated at the reception venue so i had my like the traditional marriage itself proper at home as in my father's house and then we had the reception at another venue and so because the ceremony didn't finish at the time it was supposed to people were already seated at the reception venue even before the ceremony itself like finished right so it meant we had had people seated there waiting for us to to come for the reception and the ceremony itself hadn't even ended that was how bad it was and so the time that we we're supposed to have for our exclusive um, pictures we didn't even have it at all we we literally didn't have it because we had to rush to the reception venue because we had kept people waiting over there so what we did was for the ceremony itself we, we invited like very close um family and friends and for the rest of the people that we invited we just invited them for the reception so we had people who had come to sit at the reception venue waiting for like the reception to start and so we had to cancel the whole like we didn't have time for the exclusive pictures at all the only exclusive pictures that we could get were the ones that we managed to take before like the ceremony started and even with that like there was so much pressure my parents were calling we should hurry up and come oh god there was so much pressure so the the pictures that we managed to get of ourselves like exclusive pictures were the ones we managed to take before like the ceremony and we also got to take some um when the reception was almost over but that was in the evening and so with those ones like i was in my in my reception outfit like yeah we got like decent pictures we got a couple of nice pictures but then i would have wished for more like trust me i would have wished for more but our photographer was nice enough to suggest we take um the exclusive pictures the next day which was a sunday so he suggested we take like more exclusive pictures after um, thanksgiving on sunday but that meant i had to wear my kente gown again and guys trust me my kente gown like the what's it called the <laughs> the was it the hem i i don't know like the bottom part was so dirty because it was like a bit long so it was sweeping the floor it was literally dirty and i didn't see myself like going back to wear my kente gown again and also i only booked my makeup artist for you know the saturday and so she she left like early sunday morning and for thanksgiving i did my makeup myself like i would have loved even if like i wanted to do the exclusives again i would have loved to be in that same makeup and so that was another so i was like you know what it's okay what we got is fine we'll manage with what we got so yeah that was like one of my biggest regrets on my wedding day which leads to my next regret which is not having a wedding planner or a wedding coordinator for my big day or on my big day because trust me if i had had a planner or a coordinator i don't think i would have had so much delays maybe i would but i don't think it would have been as much as i experienced and so it would have cut down on a lot of things and i would have at least had some time for my exclusive pictures so yeah not having a wedding planner or a wedding coordinator led to me stressing about almost everything from the preparation to the big day itself because i was literally taking care of almost everything so when like one small thing goes wrong 
like i begin to stress i begin to worry and so trust me if i had had a wedding planner or a wedding coordinator the person would have made sure that you know all the various aspects like everything is in place from photography to makeup to decor like the person would have coordinated everything and made sure like we, we were on point with everything that way it would have relieved me of some stress because here i was thinking oh like i don't really need a wedding planner i don't really need a coordinator because i can do everything myself but after my experience with you know planning my own wedding and sort of coordinating everything this is what i would say if you are about to get married and you can afford a wedding planner or a wedding coordinator go for it like really not like i didn't enjoy planning my wedding coordinating my wedding and all of that but i feel if i had had someone to do it for me it would have made the experience or the whole journey a bit more stress-free for me because trust me i was worrying about literally every single thing that went wrong which could have been the headache of the wedding planner or the wedding coordinator if i had had one and you know when you are like planning and all of that that's not the time to stress over almost everything like when it's almost close to your big day really give that stress to somebody else so if you can afford a wedding planner or a wedding coordinator i would 100 percent recommend you go for it so one other thing i regret was not going through every single detail with my vendors particularly two vendors so i had like a little misunderstanding between myself and two of my vendors and for both of them i had to do with transportation so this is the thing i had my traditional marriage in taqwa because i was born in taqwa i was raised in taqwa my parents are in taqwa and i am a taqwa girl basically so there was no way i was not going to have my traditional marriage in my father's house so i had my traditional wedding in taqwa and most of my vendors were actually not from taqwa i had just two of my vendors from taqwa um yeah the lady who installed my my wig and then the makeup artist for my bridesmaid um if you want a full list of like all the vendors i used and all of that i mentioned them in my wedding videos wedding planning videos so you can check it out if you want like a list of all the vendors i used so yeah like i was saying most of my vendors were not from Takwa. i had a vendor from Takwa day i had some other vendors from accra so the issue i had with two of my vendors was actually in relation to transportation and i feel it was just like you know a little misunderstanding because we both didn't really go into details on how transportation was going to be like so so because i knew my wedding was going to be in taqwa one of the most important questions or even the very first question i asked all of my vendors was are you willing to travel to taqwa or um, can you travel to taqwa like along those lines just to know if traveling to taqwa is not an issue for you even before like i went ahead with you know i want you to do this for me this date blah 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 and what i want from you and all of that so like that was the most important question the very first question i asked all of my vendors but unfortunately there was some misunderstanding regarding transportation with um two vendors so with the first vendor um she assumed we we're going to fly to taqwa apparently she said she only travels by flights and for me i assumed asking if you travel to taqwa we we're going to go by road because there's no airport in taqwa but apparently she travels only by flight and my problem was you didn't state that to me and i guess her problem would also be i also didn't state to her my means of transportation was by road so for me we made provision for you know all our vendors that we had to transport from accra to taqwa we had like a number of cars going to taqwa and so we made provisions for all of our vendors but i guess because both of us i said myself and the vendor because we both didn't really go into details on what the means of transportation was going to be 
it caused like a little misunderstanding and it was like stressful it was really really stressful because this was like um a few weeks before the actual day and bear in mind i had made full payments for this particular service like way ahead of time so in my head i was done with that so a few weeks to the wedding i reached out to like all of my vendors to let them know the arrangement um, regarding transportation only for me to reach out to this particular vendor and she tells me um, she thought we were going to go by flight or she travels by flight only and so yeah it was so stressful and I feel like all of this misunderstanding or all of this you know stress wouldn't have come about if I had really gone into details on how transportation was going to be from Accra to Takwa. not just asking if you know are you willing to travel to Takwa or are you available to travel to Takwa? I, I should have let her know that oh we have cars available blah 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 and all of that even before I made payment for the second vendor yeah I knew she had to transport her stuff to Takwa as well but the issue I had with her was like I kept asking her how much is the transportation going to cost because i had already paid like for the service but then the only thing that was left was the transportation cost of her items to takwa and so she kept saying oh we should wait till like it's getting close we should wait till it's getting close because you know these drivers blah 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 all of that and so let's say in my mind i sort of had my own let's say rough estimate on how much i thought the transportation was going to cost only for her to reach out to me a week or maybe a few days I, I really can't remember but it was like I think within that week telling me transportation is going to cost like X amount which was too pricey for me to be fair and way above like what I expected but then fortunately for me I have this uncle who has um, a truck so um, he sorted that out for me and I was okay but then all i'm trying to say is if i had gone into details with like both vendors made sure we had like settled everything or sorted out everything regarding transportation i don't think i would have had you know the misunderstandings we had like weeks to my 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 actual wedding because it was so stressful so another regret of mine was not having a contingency plan or a plan b for certain things I actually had for some things but I didn't have for others I don't know if that makes sense so one major thing that I feel I should have had a plan B for was my MC my friend was going to be my MC on my wedding day we had already spoken about it like way ahead of time and I was not paying for it so in my head I had it sorted out like I really didn't have to bother about you know an MC because my friend is there and he's going to do it for me for free and so I'm sorted only for me to be there like i think two weeks yeah two weeks to my actual wedding day my friend reaches out to me to say unfortunately he can't be there or he can't MC at my wedding and so that meant i had to go and search for another MC two weeks to my wedding day and bear in mind for stuff like weddings and uh, like occasions like that people book MC way ahead of time so how sure was i that two weeks to my wedding i'm now going to reach out to mcs to find out are you available in the next two weeks like it was so stressful so 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 stressful and if i had had a plan b obviously yes i knew that i have a friend who is an MC. he's doing it for me for free but then i should have also thought of having a plan b so maybe i should have reached out to a couple of mcs let them know oh I'm having my wedding on this day blah 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 and maybe leave them hanging i don't know the best way to put it but like i should have at least reached out to some mcs to you know just test the waters and if i had done that i guess it would have been much more easier for me to deal with you know the disappointments from my friend as compared to now going to search for mcs messaging mcs to say oh are you available in the next two weeks like it was it was so stressful so if i had had um, a contingency plan for that i guess things would have been a little bit 
smoother than it was all right guys so these are my major wedding regrets or things that you know stressed me gave me anxiety and all of that during the preparation stage and also like on the on the main day itself i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned a thing or two from my experience um if you have any questions you can drop them in the comment section below and i'll be sure to respond to them um until then i'll see you guys in my next video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to the channel and also share this video with your friends who are about to get married so they don't make the same mistakes i made and also to make their you know preparation process as well as their big day less stressful for them thank you guys for watching bye